fans, welcome back to the highest rating show on Lions TV, Disaster Chef. Uh, still uh, still going, believe it or not. Uh, haven't run out of brekkie, brekkie menu items yet. And uh, so without further ado, we'll introduce today's guests. Come in, boys. We've got Ro Buick and Derek Zoolander, of course. <laughs> boys, thanks for coming on the show, first of all. Uh, Mick, do you have much experience in the kitchen? Uh... Probably about five years worth. Went to boarding school, so I didn't do much then. So about five years worth. Okay, well, that's all right. It's yeah. better than most that I've had. Buser, uh, you've had a sneaky look at some of today's ingredients already, and realised you don't eat half of them. Do you think that'll <laughs> that'll factor in today? Probably be a bit hard for me to do some of the things, but seeing as I don't eat them and never cook them, but <laughs> there's toast there, and I can put toast in the toaster, so I'm sure I'll be all right. All right. Toaster or toast in the toaster? Turn bread into toast in the toaster. <laughs> This is great banter from the team already. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. We've got some eggs, onion, avocado, lemon, nice life of what looks like sourdough, and some feta as well. Ro, what's, uh, what ingredients is it that are going to give you the trouble? Uh, the avocado. Yeah. I wouldn't even know how to open it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Your time starts in three, two, no, Rosary started. <laughs> go, go. We're on. We're on. It's just go around the outside. Around the outside. Yeah, and just you know, the whole thing will come in. I'm not supposed to coach you, but Ro, this will be the first time you've handled an avocado like this. Debut. Debut. But something that's not a debut of is Buick to Lions TV. It's his hundredth episode today, so congratulations, Ro. How do you, what do you do with feta? You just, I suppose you just crumble it up and add it in with a smashed you avocado. Don't mind any feta, but I don't know how to. How, how do you add it to? I'll let you Google image some smashed avocado from a restaurant, Nick, if you want. I actually watched a poached eggs video the other day on Facebook, how to cook them. I might have actually saved it, so I might actually go watch it before. So you just come across that or you've I've come across it? Nick just tell us that when he stumbled across a how to poach an egg on Facebook the other day. <laughs> I mean, this is majorly convenient, Mick. This is really convenient. Can you do that? Oh, I can yeah, give it a go. What? Now, this is on that video I watched the other day. Put a bit of vinegar in there, apparently just keeps it together. Nice. So Mix just poured a whole bottle of vinegar into the <laughs> sauce. Yeah. It's not, it's not a whole bottle. <laughs> I mean, it was most of it though. You just gently add it in there. Does that look right, Mick? Uh, yeah. It's coming together. And what? How do you know when they're done, Mick? Oh, you just got to have that feel. How do you smash it out? Oh, I assume you just smash it. Just, just with a, a yeah, you get a fork. Jeez, a bit of um. Why is it wet? What have you right. ordered? What? Why is it? Why is your feather leaking? That's how feta's supposed to be. It is how I've got just got the nod that feta is supposed to be like that. that <laughs> Ro has just slapped it on like anything. How else would you do it? Yeah, you're right. Sorry. So the feta's in amongst oh, it. Oh, nice chunk of it on the thing. Think about presentation, Ro. Yeah, I didn't. So, so Nick, Ro wasn't thinking about presentation, was he? No, I think 80% of the, the meal's presentation. God, I'll be honest, it looks pretty good. Are you surprised? Well, yeah, a little bit. Do you want me to stop the clock? That's clock stopped. And you had... Yeah, right on time, boys, so well done. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you happy with how it's come in? Yeah, I did the eggs and I'm pretty happy with them, actually. <laughs> Great work, Chubby. <laughs> bit further ado, let's uh, cut into these eggs, which is what yeah, I'm most. I feel like they've been sitting there a little bit too long, so... Oh, man. Oh, fair income. Wow. Wow. There like. See, I'll, I'll mix it up. You don't know if you like them runny or hard. I didn't know whether I liked them runny or hard, so he did one of each. Because I can't ask the person. It's a good crust. Mm. It's not the best I've ever had, but... Would you pay $18 for it? I wouldn't be paying 18 Woo! But certainly 16 I'm going to give it the first... Um, wow. No! <laughs> not Not where I was going with it. I wasn't going to give it a 10. I was going to say a half. I'm going to go eight and a half. Where's that super ranking? That's pretty high. And crucially, I think that half will really help you across the line against... I don't think I've given a nine before, so I think that's the highest I've ever given for taste. Oh, oh nice. What it will need, though, is the fans to have a good look at the plate because your score for its appearance, the boys' presentation, will be the second half of their score and add to their total. Boys, well done. That's a, uh, a really impressive cafe-quality meal that you've well, knocked up this morning. 
And uh, thanks for coming on the show. Uh, any final final comments? No. <laughs> yeah, not much from my side either. <laughs> well, that's good avenues. <laughs>